Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to document or how to generate a Lux report with different light scenes. So first, let's understand what is a light scene. Light scene is basically an arrangement or a group of luminous which, would, which you would like to switch it on depending on various scenarios. Like for example, here I am considering a sample project of an open office. This office has linear profiles. Then I have a cove lighting. And since here I had an ascent wall, I added few wall washer lights. So that means I have three different types of artificial lighting here. Now. For me, I can create a number of light scenes in this office space depending upon the usage. First thing it can be that there is only since we have a nice huge windows here, there would be an enough daylighting to fill the space with nice ambient lighting which would be enough for anyone using the space. As the day falls to the night, of course, we would require some artificial lighting. But we wouldn't switch all lights on all at a time. Day lighting, suppose it's 5 p.m. And suppose if it is not enough brightness, I need some ambient lighting. Then I can turn only the cove lighting on. Then say it gets a bit more darker, then the wall washers can be on and then it is more darker then the linear profiles can be on even the linear profile lighting not necessary that all this for linear profile light has to be on to achieve the required lux level in a given time or in a given light scene so i can switch it on as per the need that's why we follow loop drawings now what i'm doing here is like uh, suppose you're working on a project and uh, consultant or a client ask you to check or to generate a Lux report for different light scenes so that they can analyze the data of the Lux achieved while following the different light scenes. For that how we are going to do is we'll go to the light. Under light you can find light scenes. Here uh, these divisions will not be there. I have created this one but I'll show you how to create the luminaire group. For that, I'll delete the current luminaire group I have created. Okay. Now, when when you're adding luminaires and then you switch to light scenes, you'll have all your light scenes under this one small group. Okay. So here, when you're making a light scenes, it's advisable to keep one type of group in one section. Like suppose here I have. I have made a cove light but now I have to make another two for that what I can do is create new luminaire group okay for this I will name it as linear profiles and I will add all this four linear profiles in here select now when I selected the luminous it is showing me the indication on under which luminaire group this is present so it is here I will subtract here minus and add in here linear profiles okay then I'll make one more luminaire group and I will name it as wall washers and uh, here I have my wall washers I will select all are in a row hence it is selected with one click I will remove from here and add it here okay the remaining here i have cove lighting itself that's reason it is selected here and here no need to make an extra alumni group for that okay now this is your first step wherein you are making a luminaire group and adding a type of luminaires in that specific group okay maybe when you're following your autocad profile maybe your cove light is l1 linear profiles maybe you're naming it as l2 and wall washers maybe it is l3 you can give similar type of naming here too now we'll discuss what is light scenes now let's group the light screen right let's make different types of light scene so this is my light scene one i will name it as light scene 
zero one wherein what I will do is I'll just keep the cove lighting on and I will turn off linear profiles and wall washers and wall washers for that what I'm going to do is select the linear profile and here I'm making it zero zero is turn off then wall washer zero turn off I'm turning this off now in my light scene I'm just keeping cove light to be on okay the other good thing is if you're keeping it off itself then you can even delete the lumina group but I'm keeping it for now because it's easy for me to duplicate the same light scene and then just adjust the level of brightness I require how I'm going to do it is click here it is the light scene one and then I'm going to duplicate the light scene here I'm going to name it as light scene 0 2 under light scene 0 2 my with my cove lighting I will keep on the wall washers on but the linear profiles are off okay then I'm going to duplicate the light scene and this will be my light scene 0 3 okay under this what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep I'm going to keep linear profiles on but this time I'm going to keep it only 50% I'm going to keep it on 50% dimming it's not fully on it's dimmed now I'm going to duplicate the light scene this will be my light scene 4 wherein all the luminous are on all are on okay so we have light scene with only cove lighting on then light scene 2 with cove lighting and wall washers on light scene 3 wherein we have linear profiles dimmed at 50 percent with cove lighting and wall washer with 100 percent on next we have light scene 4 which is nothing but all lights are on here you can in the calculations you can directly go to that light scene and calculate the specific light scene output here let's run the calculation for light scene 2 and check the output in light scene 2 we have cove lighting and wall washers to be on let's check the output now the calculation is completed and this is only for the light scene 2 which is when cove lighting and wall washer lights are worn I have even placed a calculation surfaces to check the lux levels and uh, on I have a visual task area here and uh, a standard work plane so as in the light scene 2 I'm not achieving I'm achieving very lux less lux levels of course if this scene will work good if it is combined with the daylighting okay so what we can do is other thing while running the calculation only for the specified light scenes is that you can even save the view and ray trace it this becomes easy because in the one lights in one light scene itself you don't have to go switch on off dim it and generate the renders once you have set the light scene and gave it as light scene one two three then you can run the specific light scene and generate the renders for the same render is completed and you can see the effect perfect so this is how you can make the light scene groups and do separate now other way to run the calculation fast is that under the light scene itself now it is selected as light scene 2 what we'll do is we'll go to light scene 1 and you can see here a small display wherein it shows wherein it says show light textures click here wait for a few seconds and here it will show you the lighting preview of the selected light scenes and it will also show you the lux level calculations okay now let's let's try one more light scene let's switch fit for light scene 2 wherein uh, we have seen light scene 2 that is cove lighting and wall washer so let's switch for light scene 3 which is cove light wall washer and linear profiles 50% dimmed 
show light texture we'll click here and wait for a few seconds and then here is the here is your lighting preview and respective lux level calculation how cool is that let's check even for light scene 4 where all where all the lights are on click here show light textures and this is when all the light all the lighting is on and here are your achieved lux levels perfect now when you want to generate the reports you can generate the report even while keeping the show light textures on now what we'll do is we'll go for light scene 4 where all lights are on and here i'm going to calculate all the light scenes okay to generate the report or if you want to generate the report only for the active light scene then you can select this one for now i want to generate the report for all the four different light scenes so i will calculate all light scenes okay now we have done the calculation for all the light scenes and and we'll go to the documentation here in the documentation of course you can select the different light scenes you need to keep it on like say if you need all the light scenes you can keep it all the light lit scenes on or if you want to consider only specific light scene that is light scene one you can turn off other light scenes in the documentation now for now i will keep all the light scenes on and uh, of course here you can select only the necessary things and uncheck which you don't require now to simplify more report first what i'll do is i'll of course keep the cover page i don't need the preface table of contents yes description if you need you can include images yes of course i need to add the images luminous list no dimming values no of course you can give if the consultant asks S under site i'm going to choose only the specific things like under story what i will do is i'll not include anything for now under story one i'll go directly to the room that is the workstation and here i'm going to select the summary for all the light scenes or else what you can do is you can select the calculation objects too okay in the summary in the summary section you have the calculation objects detail then you have details in regard to the area reflection factors maintenance factor height of the luminaire height of the story etc and then in the summary you have the visual task area calculations and overall general lux calculations this is with the light scene one wherein only the cove lighting is on that's why we have so many wrong check marks what we can do is if you don't want to see this negative marks you can go to the configure page and here in the checks you can uncheck this use on all pages of the report back to the page view and this is your light scene one of course you're in your light scene you can even add the daylighting factors and with that maybe your required lux levels will be accurate now the current lux level is very less because i don't have any daylighting on here it's just the cove lighting okay and then in the summary part you even have a detail of number of luminaires type of the luminaires used and what is its voltage lumen output and luminar efficacy okay this is what you get in summary in the image you can check the images uh, select the preview you need insert double click and go to insert images option and you can include your rendered images only the views and you can even externally add the images the process is same okay and then here we can add even the calculation objects like if you scroll down in the light scenes you have calculation objects under light scene one here what is the preview is that in the summary we didn't get any false colors so what we'll do is we'll go to the configurer page and 
I will check for show me the false colors and use this on all pages back to the page view and here is your false color detailing false color helps in visually analyzing your lux report so you that you can easily read the data on where the lux levels are high and where the lux levels are low and if it is impacting the uniformity levels then maybe you can consider rearranging your luminaires okay so this is how your calculation objects preview is available here too you can go and configure the page and remove this checks if you don't require this check marks similarly we will do it for scene 3 and scene 4 i'll just make it check i'll not for now the same data is represented in different ways we have calculation objects and then we have even the working plane so as per your requirement you can generate only the calculation objects report or you can generate the work plane report depends upon what you follow in your company okay but of course when you're running the all light scenes then you will get the calculations calculation parameters preview in this report section glossary i don't need it now and i think i'm done with this one so i'll click on show entire documentation report is generated and you can see the full re preview of the entire documentation images are placed summary is here and then summary for different light scenes see this is for summary light scene 3 and then i have summary for light scene 4 okay similarly i have generated the calculation objects report if you want to generate for work plane of you if you want to generate for visual task calculations you can do it for same okay it depends on what template you follow in your lux reports now this calculation object is for light scene one and then similarly i have for light scene two see this thermal color render is giving me a clear preview on since the wall washer lights are on here i'm going to have more amount of lux levels and gradually it's you know near the first row of the chairs i'm getting a bit of that maybe it's 100 or 200 lux which is spilling till here yeah it's 100 to 200 it's 100 lux okay so that is the plus point of using false color preview in your lux report similarly i have calculation object for light scene 2 calculation objects for light scene 3 and calculation objects for light scene 4 wherein all the luminous are on okay here i did, I did the calculation without uh, with considering the objects and furniture and that's the reason here you can see the lux levels are a bit less you can run the calculation without furniture to check what is the lux level achieved and i will save this report to the destination folder and this is my final lux report with different light scenes suppose you get revision in your project this is your first first time you are submitting the report and say in the second you get revision one okay while well, you're working on the revision one it becomes easy because you have already made your dialogues files into sections by dividing into light scenes by dividing into different light scenes this is going to help your help you save lots of time so this is it guys in this video hope this video was helpful if you found this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you